It's not possible to have good yields of soap without pollination, hand pollination. Now preparing to get uh, the collected the pollen grain of one flower in the male stage. In the male stage we can see that we are getting some anthers and these anthers it is impregnated with uh, uh, pollen grain. This yellowish color that you can see, we can go to this flower and this flower we can observe that it is, it is in the female stage. So, in this female stage, I need to transfer the pollen grain from this, from this brush to the flower. For example, I touch it in the recipient, it will be full of pollen grain and I will transfer this pollen grain to the flower. With one hand I try to open the flower to expose the female part, the female part of the flower and after that I put my brush with pollen grain in contact with the female part, the stigma. I do it crossing and that's all. It is pollinated. This flower will continue developing, but developing only inside. These flowers, they were pollinated maybe some five, some ten days ago, and they continue in this, uh, with this formation, with this appearance, for 60 days, for about two months. And after that, fruit will begin developing. And uh, with the development of the fruit, we can say that we have to protect this fruit. Now we are going to, to pack this fruit just after 60 days of the pollination, the fruits begin to develop. We can see the spine that they appear to develop, to separate one from another. And this is the moment of protecting this fruit, because now it's fruit. And from this time, it is possible to have infection with seed borer, the number one insect in the world to uh, sour up. So, from this phase to when fruit is big the size, uh, the, uh, the, the, the seed borer can attack. So, we have to protect at this phase, because if you protect when the fruit is large one, it will not work, it will not uh, avoid the, the, the problem. So, I put the fruits, one or two fruits together, I protect it with uh, this, uh, this protection, with this bag. This protection should be kept at least during two more months. Now it is protected. In this case means that the pest, the seed borer, has no capacity of getting into this, uh, this, uh, this, this environment because they are protected with uh, this net, with this, this material. So I will keep this fruit here during two more months at least. And after that, I take out this uh, protection and the fruit continues developing uh, naturally. The, the insect is not capable anymore to produce any kind of damage. The seeds uh, is not, uh, do not permit the overposition of uh, the female insect. Now let's talk something about pruning. Pruning is, uh, very, is very important in uh, sour soap production. It's uh, a practice that, you have, practice that you have to adopt 
if you want to get good results, if, if you want to get uh, uh, better control of diseases and also to help you to pollinate it, to protect the fruits with packing and also if you, during the moment of spraying against some uh, insects, some diseases and also during the time of, uh, of uh, harvesting. So, uh, the pruning is very important. You have to open the center of uh, the sursop tree in order to get some sunlight inside every day and also to permit the circulation of air. So aeration should be here. It will you reduce the problems of diseases and also will help us to uh, make other practice. For example, in this case, it was pruned here. This branch was pruned. This also, this other branch that in the center was also pruned. Here we have other branches that was also pruned because it was uh, growing in this direction. I, I need to keep it open. And after pruning, we can do it with a saw, we can do it uh, with a shear. In this case of uh, new shoots that usually appear after pruning, we have also to eliminate it. We have to eliminate it in order to, uh, in order to avoid having, closing again the central part of the canopy. So we can do it every every uh, branch that shoot that is growing we have to eliminate it when you do it once twice or three times and after that we can see that uh, uh, it uh, uh, it will not uh, it will not uh, uh, appear no new shoots again because you you're reducing its force its strongness of this material so this is what we have to do Another thing that we have to understand that every time that uh, this plant is growing in a height, for example, more than three meters in height or more than uh, uh, 10 feet in height, I have to put like this plant here, for example, when this branch it is very high, I should cut it. I should cut it, I should cut it to avoid growing and closing again. With one tree like this, in, at this, this height, I can make all uh, the practices that this plant will need, like pollination, sprays, packing, harvesting, and so on. So I have to maintain this sour sop tree with pruning continuously because this is the way that we can increase yield and we can have fruit of good, uh, of good quality. Harvesting of sour sop. We can see that one fruit of sour sop, when it is near at the moment of harvesting. We have to take a look on the spines and the color of the skin to see if it is ready to, uh, to be harvested. In this case, for example, we take a look on the skin. You can see some change in the color of the skin. And uh, especially when you do that, when you cut, uh, you take uh, this spine and you force it you see that it will broke easily, it becomes soft at this stage. And also the operation of uh, harvesting should be done with uh, a shear and uh, you have to be a good care. So you have to put your shear near the, the peduncle, near the stalk, near the fruit. Near the fruit and cut like uh, this way. You can cut it this way and the stalk should remain on the branch because it's important because in this zone in this site it will continue producing new flowers it's very important to get in one tree like Sursop to get the site like this one where we can install a, a flower bud like this one it means that uh, we have produced or harvested one fruit in this site. 
at this region, you can see the scar of a fruit that we harvested some months ago. It means if it is well harvested, we can get at this site a lot of new flowers, flowers button. It is very important because it means that in this, during many, many years, we can produce flowers and fruit at this site. And we have to prune and to stimulate new sites like this, new buds like this one, in this position, in this position, in this position, like this one, in this position, like here. It will help us to increase more and more fruits, flowers and fruit uh, the following years. It will help us in increasing yield and fruit quality. Traditionally, people use both organic matter and also uh, fertili chemical fertilizers. You can use both, okay, but if you say, no, I don't want to apply uh, chemical material, no problem. But you have to apply a lot of organic matter. It's very important to apply because there is good response for such a tree to uh, what to apply of organic matter. And also you have to consider that when you prune, when you prune one tree of sursop, you are we estimate that you are you are putting four to eight tons per acre of leaves and branches. You can see after two or three years that the root system goes through this material superficially with very nice results. And also when you have opportunity you can use warm compost, biofertilizer and so on. In this case, for example, you can see related to, to nutrient cycling. Observe, for example, in this dessert of tree, it was pruned, all the leaves and branches should be put together under the canopy, under the, the shade of the canopy. But you should not put fruits. Please, never put fruits, small one, bigger one, natural fruits, never put fruits in this situation. On leaves and branches, never fruits. Why? Because fruits usually develop anthracnosis, coletotricum, coletotricum is uh, the most important disease that we have in South South.